Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have the X-Lite wired gaming mouse and this mouse is one of the lightest mice on the market coming in at only 50 grams. So today I'm gonna be unboxing it as well as giving it a glide test. So first off, I wanna give a big thanks to Pulsar for setting this mouse up for review and let's get unboxed. Inside the box, you get the mouse itself, which looks awesome. You get some grip tape with some extra mouse feet. You get a cool Pulsar sticker and the instruction manual. And you get two mouse bungees with two extra pieces of adhesive tape, which looks awesome. Now, the switches for this mouse are Armoron 20s, which are not horrible. But they are on the clickier side, whereas the side buttons to me are awesome. Just listen to this. That's literally the side button. And for the black one, it's pretty much similar. And this is the Rocat Comp Pro Air. I made a review on it a while back. If you want to check it out, the link is up there. But the clicks of these, I love the clicks of these. These are the Titan optical switches, but the side buttons are, I hate them. They're so clicky, but the clicks and the side buttons of this mouse, they're awesome. I've been using this mouse for about a week now, and here are my thoughts. So first, I love the Ergo design. It's it like, it fits in the hand perfectly, and it just feels good. The other thing I love that it's just 50 grams, and um, there's also holes in the mouse, so... I don't, I, I really don't know what they're for. If you can let me know, let me in the comments, but I think it's for like airflow or something. I don't know. The side buttons, I like how they're placed. I can easily, if I'm playing Fortnite or anything, I can just easily go between them. They're pretty much good. Uh, the scroll wheel is also pretty good, soft. It, it, the button is fine. And then the clicks. So the clicks are a little bit clicky, but to me, that doesn't really matter. Um, One thing I don't like um, is that, like, it's a little bit slower, the left one, like, the Rocat Comp Pro Air, it's, like, so fast, but these one, I don't know, the, it, like, it feels fast, but sometimes it's just a little bit slow, but other than that, I love this mouse, and it's awesome. So like most mice, this mouse doesn't have a DPI button, but you don't really need it if you just game on one DPI or use one DPI for the mouse. And if you really need to change it, you can just do it through the software. And I know that I just have one fixed DPI and I don't need to change it, so it's not a problem for me. And this mouse has some sort of US military drop test, so hopefully it doesn't break. As you can see, I'm squeezing the mouse with all my might. There's no bending, there's no creaking as you can see. Like with everything I've got, I'm squeezing it. No bending, no creaking. So that's a good sign. All right, now let's test the glide. So the original glide of this mouse, it's pretty good. And the wire, it's it's not it's not that bad at all. I didn't cover the wire too much, but it's pretty. It's a really good wire. And then this is a, not an artisan mouse pad, but still, it's it's really smooth. You guys can see it like that. And now I'm gonna like glide it all the way as hard as I can. Three, two, one. Look at that, it goes that far. So if you're gonna play any FPS games or do some editing, the glide is actually pretty good if you have a good enough mouse pad. Now let's talk about the features of this mouse. It's extremely light coming at only 50 grams. It's ergonomically shaped to fit in your hand and it goes up to 20,000 DPI, which you can customize on the software. It also comes in white and black and both of them look awesome. The sensor that this mouse has is the PAW 3370, and it can go up to 1000 Hertz. Now, another really cool thing about this mouse is the bottom. Now look at this, I don't think I've seen this bottom on any other mouse. It's like an exoskeleton build. It's just a PCB, the mouse, and that's it. There's no bottom plate, and that's why it's only 50 grams. That's why it's one of the lightest mice on the market it looks awesome and i can go i can touch my finger all the way until i see like the little scrolling thing that's it like they designed it so cool it, like, it looks really cool just to look at and use now on their website this mouse is 50 bucks and if you want two more sets of mouse feet some grip tape and two mouse bungees it's 60 bucks but it's up to you if you want to pay 10 dollars more for those things and for that price point i think this is a super good mouse to buy and it's like, it's 50 grams, like 50 grams, 50 bucks. 
I don't I only think like people super gamers like need that 50 grams mouse. But if you want a super light mouse, it's like ultra light. Ultra ultra light. If you want an ultra light mouse, it's only 50 bucks, so it's not that expensive compared to like some razor mice and some logitech mice. But if you want to get it, the link is in my description, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.